Sports Network, broadcasting live from Landmark Coliseum. Our matchup today features the home team. They're going up against the away team. I'm Dan Stevens, and with me as always, Peter O'Keefe. Let's take a look at today's All-Pro lineups, Peter. With these two players, you have more than just greatness. You have contagious enthusiasm and a bottomless will to win. But the other team is also loaded with talent. Great quarterback, great receiver. Hmm, I wonder if we'll be seeing any passing today. Well, in any case, the rest of the gang clearly is also loaded with stars. All right, Peter, thanks. Now let's go down to the coin toss. Big game tonight. Good game. The visiting team will make the selection. What is the call? We pick tails. It is heads. We'll receive. The home team have won the toss and select to receive. Conway kicks off, and the game is underway. Pierce fields the opening kickoff at the 12. Again gets free, tackled at the 35. Jermaine Pierce took a kick that wasn't so hot and burst through the defense for a big game. The home team will start the drive at their 35-yard line. the 32. Troy Ulmer got a great jump on the play and brings the ball carrier down for a loss in the backfield. Nice defensive stop. They put a stop to this play behind the line of scrimmage. Pretty good call by the defensive coordinator. Agreed, Dan. They, they had it all locked up there. That will bring up second down. Pierce gets the call again and heads up field. Tackled at the 37. Third down with the tight end right. Number 21 tips it away on the coverage. Incomplete. Fourth down coming up. Number 21 read that one right out of the receiver's break and denied it. Well, the knee holds tight on third and long and forces an incompletion. That was a good call by the defensive coordinator. Oh, it sure was. Perfect D for that situation. And it will bring up fourth down. Guy lines up to punt after the three and out. Oh, yeah, this one's mine. This one's mine. <laughs> Guy takes the snap and punts it away. Carroll fields the punt at the 29. Tackled at the 32. Mike Carroll didn't get very far running that ball back, but on the bright side, the kick was pretty lackluster, so his offense gets pretty good field position anyway. The away team will start this drive at their 32-yard line. Nathan chews up four yards, and that will bring up second down. Gain of four yards on the play. Killian with the tackle. Second down, three wideouts in the game. Thirty-six yards. The 
William Perry comes in untouched on this play and just wallops the quarterback. Where was the O-line? Did they just give up? Oh, yeah, the quarterback's going to be pointing some fingers on that one. They forced that one backwards, and that's going to make this third down that much harder. Yeah, they also make it easier on themselves by wiping out all of the potential short yardage plays they might face. Third and long. Armstrong catches this one and is at the 40, and he's stopped right there. Hagel with the tackle. It'll be fourth down. Ryan Pagel managed to take him down before he got to the markers, but oof, it was close. There's a migraine waiting to happen for a defensive coordinator. They almost gave it up. Yeah, but they didn't let him convert. It's still going to go to fourth down. Fourth and short. Lindstrom gets ready to punt it away. Lindstrom gets the snap and punts it away. Pierce fields it at the 25. Tackled at the 31. Jermaine Pierce got swarmed by the kicking team before he got very far. That nice punt pretty much goes unanswered. The home team stalled early last drive. We'll have to see what happens here. We'll start at their 31-yard line. Pierce catches it in the flat and tries to get free. Eventually pushed out of bounds at the 42. First down. Jermaine Pierce makes the catch, but that's not enough for him. He gets it and takes off for more. He did a good job getting his hands around the football, and then he just took off with it. Yeah, he's not running any tricky patterns, but can pick up the extra yardage when he needs to. First and ten. Ball at 22 yards. Picks up a yard on the play, and that will bring up second down. A pickup of one on the play. Farmer with the tackle. Second and eight. Ball at the 43 yard. You ain't got this method. You ain't got this method. Single back. Single back. Number 19 catches the ball out left gets past the markers for a first down. Brandon Pierce threw a perfect pass back there. You know, I had a better shot at it than the defense did, and hey, I'm up here in the booth. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chain. Great execution. First down, 10 yards to go. Adam Williams targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. They put a stop to this play behind the line of scrimmage. Pretty good call by the defensive coordinator. Agreed, Dan. They, they had it all locked up there. That will bring up second down. He gets stopped at the line, and that brings up third down. Jermaine Pierce used the blocking, but this stingy defense didn't give up much at all on that last play. Well, not much of a gain there, and they will face third down. Third and long, too, Dan. Big play coming up. From the away to 47 yards. just rifles this one and it's tipped incomplete that will bring up fourth down Mike Carroll couldn't get all the way positioned for the interception but still managed to graze the ball with his fingertips the defense forces fourth down and even if they had completed the pass it still would have been short yes y you have to run those routes farther in that situation guy lines up for the punt Guy gets the snap and punts it away. Jeffrey Goodwin manages to catch this very nice punt 
but the kicking team is there to make sure the catch is about all he gets. Not much pickup on that run back. The away team offense comes out backed up against their own goal line. They will start at their own six-yard line. Green tackles him for a short loss. Tony Green targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten. When you come back, all you'll see is me. Nathan chews up nine yards, and that brings up third down. Tony Nathan played smart and used his blockers to perfection on that last play. A great job to move the ball and get themselves into a third and short situation. This is a critical play for this drive. Yeah, now, Dan, they can just fall forward and make the play. Sounds easy, Peter, but we'll see if they can pull it off. Third down, just a single receiver on the field. Nathan carries it for a third time in a row, and... John Offerdahl just planted the ball carrier in the turf short of the markers. But, you know, Dan, the only thing that's going to grow is this D's morale. The defense's back was against the wall, and they rose to the challenge, Peter. Yeah, Dan, that's great D. They had to make a stand here, and they stood together. It will be fourth down. Lindstrom lines up deep in his own territory to punt it away. Lindstrom takes the long snap and punts it away. Pierce fields the punt at the 49. Crosses the field, tackled at the 45. Jermaine Pierce didn't get very far running that ball back, but on the bright side, the kick was pretty lackluster, so his offense gets pretty good field position anyway. The home team had their last drive stall at the tail end. We'll see if they can keep momentum throughout this one, which starts at the 45-yard line. That will end the first quarter, and it's still a scoreless game. Second down from the eye. Pierce gets the toss and runs into traffic, tackled at the 42. Third and six. Throws a bullet in the flat and it's complete at the 44. Hauls him down in the backfield and that takes them even farther away from the markers. It'll be fourth down. Mike Carroll got a great jump on the play and brings the ball carrier down for a loss in the backfield. Nice defensive stop. They stand tall and force a loss of yardage there. That's going to bring up a difficult fourth and long. Guy lines up to punt after the three and out. Guy takes the snap and punts it away. Carroll makes a fair catch at the 11. The away team have been locked in a defensive slugfest so far and will start this drive at their own 12-yard line. Number 19 rifles it out left side and it falls incomplete. Number 19 had his clock cleaned on that one. Managed to get rid of the ball, but 
It fell incomplete. Potential for some nice yards, but it falls incomplete. That will bring up second down. Second and ten from the away team. I'm checking counter. I'm checking counter. <laughs> Reed makes the catch on the right sideline, and that's good for a gain of five. Andre Reed had nobody on him. The quarterback saw it and got the ball to him. They move the ball, and that'll bring up third down. Number 19 throws a heater right sideline and it's caught. Just barely short of the markers, however. Fourth down coming up. Andre Reed ran out of bounds there, well short of where he wanted to go. Peter, they couldn't get the last few yards they wanted, and now it is fourth down. Boy, a good call, but as you said, they just couldn't get the last few yards they needed. Lindstrom lines up for the punt. Let's go, let's go, let's go! Lindstrom gets the ball and punts it away. Pierce hauls it in at the 42. Stop at the 47. Jermaine Pierce got swarmed by the kicking team before he got very far. That nice punt pretty much goes unanswered. The home team bring their offense on the field and will start this drive at their 47-yard line. <laughs> Number 21 tackles him for a short loss. Number 21 targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. That's his second tackle so far. Second and ten from 46 yards. Down. You're not going nowhere. Six. Pierce is at the 40. 25. 15. 5. Touchdown. Dan, this is really a tremendous run here. It all starts with getting up to speed extremely fast before the D can really get it together. The blocking helps him get a little momentum going, and then he's smart enough to make the right running choices downfield. Oh, he's so dangerous when he busts loose like that. A highlight real play. Peter, that will put a touchdown in his stat column. And that's always nice to have, Dan. So far, he's got 105 yards and one touchdown. Here's the point after, and it's good. it away. Armstrong deals the kickoff at the 12. Stop at the 30. Chris Armstrong made a mediocre kick a little more mediocre with a decent run back there. The away team haven't gotten much out of their offense recently and are looking to get back on track here. This drive begins at their own 30-yard line. Number 19 throws a bullet to the flat, and the catch is made for a gain of a couple. Kari Redman had a defender playing him close, but shook him at the last moment. You can't coach that. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were you know, hoping for more. Second down, both wideouts to the right. Nate 
Nathan picks up a yard on the play, and that will bring up third down. Tony Nathan stuck close to his blockers, but the play folded quicker than an over-caffeinated origami artist. Well, not much of a game there, and they will face third down. Third and long, too, then. Big play coming up. the 26. That will bring up fourth down. Victor Jones just nails the offense with a huge loss. Watch how he targets the quarterback and then crushes it. Oh, he sacks him way back there. Great play. That'll be his first sack of the game. Lindstrom lines up to punt after the three and out. Lindstrom takes the snap and punts it away. Pierce steals the punt at the 38. Tackled at the 43. Jermaine Pierce didn't have much room to work with back there. The special team squad made sure he couldn't respond to that really nice punt. The home team are looking for some separation before the half and will start this drive at their 43-yard line. Pierce carries it past scrimmage and picks up a couple. Second and seven. Ball at the 45 yard line. Down! Six. You too slow! Single back! Single back! I got two over here! <laughs> Number 19 didn't haul that one in, and it falls incomplete. Third and seven from 45 yards. Look out, D! That's what we stand for! Single back! Single back! Pierce tips it to the left <laughs> sideline, and it's complete. Short of the markers, however. That will bring up fourth down. Number 19 ran out of bounds there, well short of where he wanted to go. Peter, they couldn't get the last few yards they wanted, and now it is fourth down. Boy, a good call, but as you said, they just couldn't get the last few yards they needed. Guy lines up for the punt. Deep to receive. Fourth down, and the punting unit is on the field. Guy gets the ball and punts it away. Carroll makes a fair catch no at the 18. The is spotted at the 19-yard line. The away team comes out and has an opportunity to tie it before the break. They'll start at their own 19-yard line. Number 19 fires this one over the middle, and it's caught just barely past the markers for a first. Number 19 threaded the ball back there to his man right past all that traffic. Good job. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chains. And let me tell you, Dan, hearing those chains move is one of the best sounds in the game for an offense. First down, three wideouts in the game. Nathan carries it for the sixth time and 
Picks up a couple. Tony Nathan used the blocking, but this stingy defense didn't give up much at all on that last play. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were, you know, hoping for more. Second and eight. Number 19 just rifles this one, and it is not real in, incomplete. You know, Dan, these sudden gusts of wind make it painful to try and complete passes. If complete, that would have made for a bit shorter third down play, but not much. Well, maybe even a little shorter. There was, there was some room to run there. Third down and four wideouts in the game. Nathan catches it over the middle, and, and he, the home team takes their first time up. Tony Green just pushes him back in time on this one. Big loss, great defensive play. Watch. Oh, it's all about pursuing your man. you got to stay with him, and he did just that to get the tackle. That's his third tackle of the game. Lindstrom lines up for the punt. Lindstrom takes the long snap and punts it away. Pierce feels it at the 34. Tackled at the 39. Jermaine Pierce got swarmed by the kicking team before he got very far. That nice punt pretty much goes unanswered. The home team bring their offense on the field and will start the drive at their 39-yard line. It's intercepted! Charlie Waters gets a little help from Mother Nature on this one, Dan. The high winds just make that pass a little woozy and delivers it right to him instead of the receiver. Boy, that was a heads-up play to come away with his first interception of the game. Yeah, you got to love D like that. The away team, they have taken the field, and they've been having a tough time passing the ball. They have another opportunity here as we start at their 47-yard line. Nathan, the away team, take their first time out. Nice gain on this baby. Look at him eat up the yardage here. First down, one man back. continues to run. Number 19 fires this one. The away team will take a timeout. That's their second. Number 19 throws right past the coverage and into his receiver's hands. Nice throw. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chain. Great execution. First down with the tight end right. Take a timeout. That's their final one. Sean Baker had a defender close by, but was able to bring down the catch. Well, you know, this is just not working. He made a good play on the ball, but for what? This team is always throwing short. Problem is, they're not picking up any significant yardage after the catch. Exactly.
Conway kicks from 39 yards out and it's no good. It bounced off the upright and then out. Nate Conway going to the upright here. Let's watch this again. Well, sure, Dan, it's a little embarrassing, but isn't that what instant replay is all about? A player screws up, and it's our ratings grabber. That could have put them within striking distance of tying it up, but the kick is no good. They'll have to bust out of the gates in the second half, Dan, and get some momentum early. The home team take the field with the clock at 11. sideline and that's a gain of seven on the play brandon pierce had nobody on him the quarterback saw it and got the ball to him he just couldn't get cranked up coming out of the tunnel waiting until the second quarter to make his first catch and you know that's a big confidence builder dan now he should be able to settle into his game and contribute second down the clock is stopped at seven Pierce gets the call on set. The home team will take a timeout. That's their second. First down, two receivers to the left. Pierce barrels off his left guard and maybe picks up one on the play. And that'll do it for the first half of this one. The home team are out in front, seven to nothing. Okay, Dan, let's get this halftime show started. What do you have for us? Well, here's a look at our halftime stats, and as you can see, it paints a pretty clear picture. The home team should be way ahead on the scoreboard, but somehow they've let their opponents hang in there with them. Let's see if they can change things in the second half. Not much action early on, so we'll pick it up early in the second quarter. Pierce is going to show a little athleticism here as he finds an opening, and then he's off to the races. A 54-yard touchdown for the home team. The home team get the first points of the game and go up by seven. Late into the second quarter, all at their own 38-yard line. Waters would come up with the big play to kill a drive as he was able to step in front of a wayward pass for an INT. After getting an interception, the away team back by seven. Nathan would get the carry here. Good blocking up front, and it helped to spring him. And that's where we'll have to leave this one. The home team are holding on to a lead, seven to nothing. Excellent job, Dan. The away team will receive to start the second half, and this is a tight contest. Currently, they're down seven to nothing. Let's go down to the field. Brown boots the second half kickoff away. Armstrong fields it way back at the nine. Tackled at the 28. Chris Armstrong got waylaid by the defense before he was able to put Munch on the run back. The away team had their last drive stall at the tail end. We'll see if they can keep momentum throughout this one, which starts at their own 28-yard line. Nathan loses two, and that brings up second down. John Offerdahl targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. That's his third tackle of the game. Second and 12. 
from the away team, 26 yards. defense recognizes that it was anybody's ball at this point, and they're able to get possession when the music stops. That's heads-up football. Peter, there are many ways you can start a drive, but uh, a turnover is not one. The visiting team are challenging whether it was a backward pass. Dan, we've got to look at the pass itself and see whether the ball is moving forward or backwards. That will tell us what happens to the call. After review, the play has been ruled a forward pass and therefore incomplete. The visiting team will not be charged with a timeout. Third down. Third down, 12 yards to go. Number 19 throws a bullet and it's incomplete. Number 19 winged it into double coverage, but luckily nobody was able to catch it. Peter, in third down situations, they have not been successful at all with the pass. This play was more proof. Boy, third is such a crucial down, Dan. And when you don't convert, it really hurts. Lindstrom lines up for the punt. Lindstrom gets the snap and punts it away. Pierce deals the punt at the 42. Tackled at the 45. Jermaine Pierce didn't get very far running that ball back, but on the bright side, the kick was pretty lackluster, so his offense gets pretty good field position anyway. The home team start this one on the center logo at their 45-yard line. Throws a bullet to the flat, and it's complete at the 44. Finally dropped at the 43. Pass complete to Pierce. A pickup of 12 yards on the play. First down, home team. Jermaine Pierce enhances this catch with a little move. Right there. I love to watch him work. Time and time again, he makes a fantastic option of himself coming out of the backfield. Well, there are some runners that just have a knack for the passing game, and this guy's got it. First down, two wideouts on the field. Richter, Richter, I back, I back. Pierce will get stopped with the line. That brings up second down. Jermaine Pierce had some blocking help on that last one, but he was still left with nowhere to go. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were, you know, hoping for more. Farmer drills him for the loss at the 46. Ray Farmer got a great jump on the play and brings the ball carrier down for a loss in the backfield. Nice defensive stop. Nice job eliminating any forward progress on that play. That will bring up a third and long. Waters tips it away on the coverage. Incomplete. Fourth down coming up. Charlie Waters anticipated the trajectory of that pass and stuck his hand in at the last moment. Great play. Well, the D holds tight on third and long and forces an incompletion. That was a good call by the defensive coordinator. Oh, it sure was. Perfect D for that situation. And it will bring up fourth down. Guy gets ready to punt it away. 
Die gets the ball and punts it away. Carroll fields it at the 11. Hammered down at the 13. Mike Carroll got swarmed by the kicking team before he got very far. That nice punt pretty much goes unanswered. The away team offense takes the field, and they have a way to go. They'll begin at their own 13-yard line. Punches this one left of center and gains about three yards. Gain of three on the play. Offer by credited with the tackle. Second and seven. Ball at the 16 yard line. Nathan will get stopped at the line and that will bring up third down. No game on the clock. Third down right. from the shotgun. Third and seven from the away to 16 yard line. Number 19 got hit as he threw that one, and that will be an incomplete pass. It'll be fourth down. Number 19 rushed that one, and it went incomplete, Dan. He needs to stop and smell the O-line every once in a while. That's three in a row that have fallen incomplete. Yeah, he's starting to press a little, Dan, I think. The coach may want to pull him aside and just you know, settle him down a little. Lindstrom lines up deep in his own territory to punt it away. Lindstrom takes the snap and punts it away. Pierce fields the punt at the 47. Dragged down at the 47. Jermaine Pierce didn't have much room to work with back there. The special team squad made sure he couldn't respond to that really nice punt. The home team offense takes the field, and they have good field position. They will start at the 47-yard line. Second down, tight end to the left. From the away to 47 yard. Here we go! Here we go! Trip, trip! Trip, trip! <laughs> O'Brien tackles him for a short loss. Chad O'Brien read that play perfectly and makes the tackle behind the line, pushing them back a few yards in the process. Great effort. Nice job eliminating any forward progress on that play. That will bring up a third and long. Williams, Jackson, way back at the 45. Fourth down coming up. Eight yards on the play. Adam Williams drops the quarterback way back there, and what was the quarterback doing way back there anyway? I've heard of deep pockets, but that's ridiculous. Well, not this time. The quarterback lost it all on that play. Good defense that's forced two losses in a row. Guy lines up to punt after the three and out. Did you like it, huh? Did you like it? Guy gets the snap and punts it away. Carroll fields it at the 18. Brought down at the 25. Mike Carroll got swarmed by the kicking team before he got very far. That nice punt pretty much goes unanswered. The away team have had some trouble moving the ball recently. We'll see what they do on this drive that starts at their own 25-yard line. Count, count, count. 
Nathan catches it in the flat, and that's good for a gain of five. Tony Nathan must have been pretty lonely out there on his own, but the quarterback got him the ball to cheer him up a little bit. You know, a, a gift basket, if you will. You know, I, I haven't the faintest idea, Peter, why they keep throwing underneath. The yards really aren't adding up. Yeah, receivers are doing what they can to catch the ball, but at some point, they got to move forward to make it worthwhile. Nathan picks up about two, and that brings up third down. Rich Killian gets to his man in the backfield for a big loss. I don't know what happened to the protection. Let's have a look. You know, D Dan, it's all about focus and persistence. He was not going to let that quarterback get that pass off. That's number four on the game for this defense. They've made their presence felt. Yes, they have, Dan. Lindstrom lines up for the punt. Lindstrom gets the ball and punts it away. Pierce fields the punt at the 40. Tackled at the 45. Jermaine Pierce fielded the ball, and although he was dropped pretty quickly, that terrible kick gives him some good field position. The home team bring their offense on the field, and will start the drive at their 45-yard line. Number 19 brings down the lob left side and is looking for more. Touchdown! Number 19 is going to make a great run after the catch. Oh, there, he snags the football, then fires up the Jets. That's big-time talent. This is a take-no-prisoners kind of guy when he is in the red zone. Oh, after piling up some good yardage on the day, he makes a big play here for a score. And it's good. it off. Armstrong fields the kickoff at the 10. Tackled at the 28. Chris Armstrong could have really done some damage off that less than stellar kick, but his run back is only so-so. The away team haven't gotten much out of their offense recently and are looking to get back on track here. This drive begins at their own 28-yard line. Nathan gets the ball and barely gets past the line of scrimmage for a negligible gain on the play. And that'll do it for the third quarter. The home team enjoying the lead 14 to nothing. Reed snags the missile and picks up four on the play. 
Andre Reed had nobody on him, and when the quarterback saw that, he quickly shot him the ball. They've really been working that right side. He keeps popping open, and they keep throwing it to him. Well, Dan, the defense has to give up something, but this guy may force them to change their strategies sooner than later. Third down from the eye. Nathan takes his 13th carry of the game and barely picks up the first down. Tony Nathan got a little help from his friends on that play, Dan. They gave him the space he needed to make the play. Great blocking up front. Peter, they did what they needed to do, and they squeak it past the first down line. Yeah, you got to know where you are on the field at all times. He knew where he needed to get, and he got it. up nine number 19 is a pro he knows exactly what his receivers are going to do and pow he hits them he's been on point with the short pass so far dan that pattern's worked so well we're probably going to see it over and over again well why not peter his receivers are open and making grabs and nobody has really stopped him from doing it nathan gets the toss and runs into traffic perry penetrates and makes the stop at the 46. William Perry read that play perfectly and makes the tackle behind the line, pushing them back a few yards in the process. Great effort. That's his second tackle so far. Third down, two tight ends in the game. Drag down at the 49. It will be first down. Number 19 decided at the last moment to scramble back there, and it worked out. First and 10 from the OA to 49 yards. Yeah. What's the pass? What's the pass? Sit on me! Nathan will get stopped at the line, and that brings up second down. They couldn't connect on this one. Incomplete. Andre Reed was flailed. Horrible lapse in concentration. That's a good example of how he's not yet reached his full potential. First drop pass of the game for him, and his quarterback hopes it's his last. Third down, and this will be the eighth play of the drive. Number 19 passes this one, and it's off incomplete. Andre Reed looked like he was all over that one, but it just got away somehow. Tough incompletion. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose with that guy. Second drop pass. Well, Dan, his inconsistency makes the coach very nervous, I can tell you that. Fourth down, and they're going for it. and long. Flag down on the play. Let's get the call. Neutral zone infraction. Number 96. Defense. The penalty is declined. First and ten from 38 yards. You're not going nowhere. Say it. Go. Murphy. Number 19 throws a bullet to the flat, and the reception's made at the 40. Number 26 tips it away on the coverage, incomplete. 
Number 26 can't quite get position for the interception, but he does manage to swat it off course. Quick hands. On second down, they try for the first, but it's played well by the defense. That will bring up third down. Nice pressure that time. Number 19 fires this one over the middle, and he's hit as he throws incomplete. Number 19 got the pass off on that last play, but barely the defensive pressure caused that pass to be incomplete. Peter, in third down situations, they have not been successful at all with the pass. This play was more proof. Boy, third is such a crucial down, Dan. And when you don't convert, it really hurts. Fourth down, and they're going for it. mistake Chris Armstrong muffs an almost guaranteed catch there I imagine he's going to hear about that one when he gets back to the huddle well if I know him a few choice words from the quarterback are nothing compared to the chewing out he's given himself they wanted to keep the drive alive and play catch up but could not convert on fourth down Dan poor execution by this offense they really needed that one the home team take the field and can they capitalize on the defensive stop we'll find out as they start this drive at their 34 yard line Pierce picks up a yard on the play and that brings up second down Jermaine Pierce didn't get very far on that last play and he even had the help of some blocking well, I guess the defense had their number. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were, you know, hoping for more. Second and nine from 35 yards. Down! Six! No side, we left! Lucy! Lucy! I got two, I got two over here! <laughs> Number 21 brings him down behind the line at the 33. Number 21 read that play perfectly and makes the tackle behind the line, pushing them back a few yards in the process. Great effort. Another tackle, and he's starting to fill up the stat book. He is dominating, Dan. So far, he's got five tackles. Third and 11. Ball at the... them even farther away from the marker fourth down coming up Leslie O'Neill would not be denied and dropped him for a huge loss big play that will be his fourth tackle so far what do you think of his performance Peter solid game Dan really carrying his sizable weight out there guy lines up to punt after the three and out beat to receive two minute warning Guy gets ready to punt it away. Guy gets the ball and punts it away. Carroll takes it at the 33. Brought down at the 35. Mike Carroll got swarmed by the kicking team before he got very far. That nice punt pretty much goes unanswered. The away team start this drive of the game from well in their own territory, and the clock at 1.53. Sacks him, and the clock will continue to run. Second down, and the clock is now at 149. Up, 
Baker grabs the rope right side, and the clock continues to wind down. Third down, empty backfield. Number 19 zings it to the right side, and it's tipped incomplete. That will bring up fourth down. Number 26 came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. That's the second time he slapped that ball out of there. Excellent read and reaction skills make him a nightmare to try and get the ball passed. Fourth down, and they're going for it. This one falls incomplete, and they will turn the ball over on down. Sean Baker, okay, watch this here. He's in position, but couldn't quite haul in the short-range pass. Didn't work out that time. Well, they don't convert on fourth down, and that will be it for them. Yeah, chalk this one up in the L column, Dan. It's all over. The home team have a short field and are starting this drive at the 42-yard line. Pierce gets the cross and runs it. The away team take their first time up. Robert Brazil targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. They put a stop to this play behind the line of scrimmage. Pretty good call by the defensive coordinator. Agreed, Dan. They, they had it all locked up there. That will bring up second down. Second down. The clock is stopped at 1.15. Take a timeout. That's their second. Jermaine Pierce lead his man with a sweet little juke move back there. They move the ball, and that'll bring up third down. Third down with a split backfield. Nice gain on this baby. Look at him eat up the yardage here. Nice play, and they will convert on third. Great execution, Dan. They did everything right. First and ten from the away to 32 yards. Down. Six. I hope you won't have to pass today. Pierce takes a knee, and the clock will tick down. Second and 11 from the OA team. Down. You picked the wrong team to run the ball off. Lucy! Lucy! Pierce takes a knee, and that will do it. And that is going to do it for this one. The home team come out on top 14 to nothing. With that, let's look back at some of the plays that made the difference in this one. That was an exciting game. So let's not waste any time in getting to the highlights in our post-game show.
will start this one off late in the third quarter. Number 19 came up with a huge play here as they cover a lot of real estate on this one. A 55-yard touchdown for the home team. Not a lot of action after that, and that's where we end up. The home team serve up a shutout, 14 to nothing. Let's wrap it up by congratulating our 2K Sports player of the game. Jermaine Pierce dominated the game like a true legend. What a performance, and I have no doubt that this isn't the last time he'll showcase his talent. We'll be hearing much more from this guy as time goes on. For my partner, Peter O'Keefe, this is Dan Stevens saying goodbye until next time. Thank you.